All right, Aaron. So tell us, you know, today on Habitat Hints, why is it important to eradicate those cool season grasses this time of year? And what, why is that? And what's the point behind it? Yeah, great to see you, Lucas, and uh, great to see everybody out there. Uh, you know, cool season grasses obviously serve a, a, a purpose for erosion and for livestock, but for wildlife, they get too thick. They, they choke out your uh, native wildflowers and native grasses, as well as they're just not productive for, uh, for turkey and quail and, and grassland birds. So uh, what we have here today is, is really two different examples. We're gonna talk about a restoration effort as far as a, a complete conversion. And, and what we're standing here right now it's probably about a, a five acre field that uh, has a lot of natives. There's pale purple coneflower, there's prairie dock. You know, we got some big blue stem remnants, some, some, some sand drop seed, uh, some mount, slender mountain mint, as, as well as monarda or, or bee balm. And there's several other species out here. And so, you know, this has got what it already needs. It just needs a little extra love. And, but you can also see is we, we got a lot of fescue. Here's the fescue. And there's, there's a lot of bluegrass in here as well. And so as you know, fall progresses, we have our first couple hard freezes. This is really going to be set up for coming in with a, a herbicide treatment uh, with glyphosate uh, to eradicate the, the cool season grass. Now, what we need to still do is come in and, and high mow this area uh, to basically prep it for the herbicide application. Uh, once we have a good hard freeze and the natives have gone dormant, uh, we'll come in with a, a quart, quart and a half of gly glyphosate per acre per 10 to 12 gallons of water, uh, as well as surfactant and ammonia sulfate and, and treat this area and, and basically eradicate the cool season grass. That will then allow the natives next spring to come up and do their thing and I think we'll find out we have a lot more natives in here than what we're seeing right now. Awesome, awesome. So this is something that you can just do this on your own, really at home or on your own property, very straightforward, but remember to wait until the natives go dormant before you do this. Yeah, absolutely. Now there are some grass selective herbicides that, that are pretty effective, but they're not as effective as glyphosate. Would also encourage folks if they have any questions to go on mdc.mo.gov look up their private land conservationists if they have any questions. We also have guide sheets that can also help you out as well. Awesome, awesome.